So maybe you're like me and you have trouble getting inspiration and adding color to your digital drawings and lettering pieces. Well, today I'm going to be showing you three ways that you can add color to your next piece in Adobe Fresco. Some of these tools and features you might not even know about. So stay tuned. Hey, my name is Alana. I'm a freelance lettering artist and designer based in Brooklyn, New York, where I run my business, AGF Design Studio. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here we discuss all things hand lettering, creative tutorials, and product reviews. Don't forget to leave a like to support the channel and subscribe for weekly videos. All right, let's jump right in. So I'm super excited because I'll actually be able to show you guys on my iPad exactly how to access these tools and features that I'm going to be going over today. So feel free to grab your iPad, open Adobe Fresco and follow along with me. All right, guys, I love using Adobe Color Library to generate quick and easy color palettes based around what they call color harmony rules. There are just a variety of ways that you can generate color palettes, basically. So for example, here I have analogous selected. And if I grab any one of these bubbles, I can just glide them around. And as you can see, it'll generate color palettes based on the color harmony rule of colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. And basically you can just experiment with this and have fun with it. See if anything catches your eye that you might wanna use for your piece from the color palettes that come up from here. So let's say that I like this color palette, for example, and I'm satisfied. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn my attention to the right-hand side here, and I can select my color library that I'd like to save this color palette to. So I've already created one called Test Colors 2021, so that's good. And here I'm just going to change the name I'm just going to save it. And in the bottom right hand corner here, you'll see that my theme was successfully added to my color library. So I'm just going to hit view. And you'll see that it'll come up in my test colors library with my other color palettes. So the cool thing about Adobe Color is that any color palettes and libraries that you generate will be available across all of your creative cloud programs. So it's not just Adobe Fresco, it's Illustrator, it's Photoshop, it's InDesign. Whatever programs you use with Creative Cloud, you can use Adobe Color color palettes. So it's really versatile, really, really cool, and that's just one of the beauties of Adobe. The other cool thing that I'd like to mention is that let's say maybe you foresee not having connection or maybe you want to save these color palettes to a thumb drive or something. You can just save each one of these as a JPEG file as well. So you don't have to worry about having access to your Adobe color themes online. All right, so now I'm ready to go back into Adobe Fresco and start coloring. So. I'm just going to take my finger, press hold, and slide up, and pull up Adobe Fresco. So I'm going to make sure my small chisel brush is selected, because I really like that one. And I'm just going to select my colors. And here, you will see all of my color palettes are ready to go in my Test Colors 2021 library that we just looked at in Adobe Color. So it's so cool, right? So I can just select my purple, just like fun red orange, So this is just like one way that you can generate color palettes and get inspiration for color to add to your pieces in Adobe Fresco that's really simple to use. Another great tool that's available for download is called Adobe Capture. It's available to download in the App Store and you can use it to access your color library. So as you can see, my test colors library is open, but I also have all of my other libraries available for access. So all of the things that you do in Adobe Color can also be accessed here. 
but I'm going to show you a cool feature using images and how you can use images to extract color stories for your next piece. So I'm just going to select the camera icon. I'm going to select this picture. So here I have a picture and I'd like to create a color palette based on the colors found in this picture. So as you can see, we have five color chips available for each palette. So one thing that you can do is you can, you could leave them in their original default positions, or you could actually just use your stylus or even your finger and move the bubbles around until you can see on the left hand side, a color palette that you like. All right, I like that. So once I'm satisfied with the color palette that's generated from this, I'll just hit this check mark and it'll bring me over here. So it just gives me an overview of what my color palette looks like and I can just hit save and I can see that it's being saved to my test colors palette like I like. And just like before, I can change the name and then save. And just like that instantaneously, it's added to my test colors library. So just like before, I'm going to press and hold. I'm gonna start a new layer. Go here. And as you can see, I've got all my stuff ready to go. All of my color libraries are already saved. And I can play around and have fun with the colors that I just created in that color palette. And it's very simple. Adobe Capture is a great feature and tool that you can be using in conjunction with Adobe Fresco to create color palettes and get some inspiration for your next piece. So the last way I'm going to show you how to add color and get color inspiration is within the Fresco app using the eyedropper tool. So when you think of the eyedropper tool, you think, you know, just going in with an image, getting your eyedropper tool ready and selecting an a color from that image. Well, a few things have happened in Fresco that I'm really excited to share with you guys. So you can, Take with one finger and press around to select colors from an image that you have on your screen. So I'm using this image again for inspiration for color. So you'll see that it'll just go right into my, my color palette and be ready for me to draw with. Boom, right? You can also get this little gear icon going, go into your app settings, and you now have the option under touch to change the duration of the screen hold needed for your eyedropper to come up. So 0.1, this is in seconds, so this would be 0.1 seconds, so that would mean very sensitive, right? So basically immediately as my finger, as soon as my finger touches the screen, it eye drops. So that'd be very sensitive and maybe that's too sensitive. So I'm just gonna go into my app settings. I like I like a half a second, that feels comfortable for me. So it still comes up very quickly, but not too quickly. So I am going to select my eyedropper. And here you'll see like a filled in circle here. So this is basically the equivalent of you know, having an infinite screen hold and just eye dropping around your canvas to select a, a color, right? But underneath here, you have access to something called multiple colors. So if I'm on this part of my image, you can kind of see in this circle, the parts of the image that are being selected. And I'll like zoom in a little bit, maybe that'll help. But you can see like multiple colors are being captured within this part of the image. So I'm gonna, maybe I'll go like there. So I have multiple colors selected as I said, and watch this. 
Let me just turn this off. And I'm going to go draw a stroke and it will use <laughs> the multiple colors from that, from that little eye drop. And I can use all of those colors in a single stroke. How friggin' cool is that, right? It's interesting because you'll see that I now have like that kind of little screen grab in my color palette. And that's sort of how they'll represent that multiple color feature. So yeah, it's not just single colors, guys. It can be multiple. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new with me today about using colors in Adobe Fresco. Um, leave me a comment with any questions or video suggestions that you have. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe for weekly videos and to support this channel. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.